Hey guys, it's me, the friendly neighborhood Spider Kit, here for another Way Back Wednesday on a Thursday. Special lunchtime edition. Uh, in case you are wondering, I am on my lunch break. This is kosher. Alright, today we're going to be talking about the great, the mighty, the powerful Thor! So, strap in, guys. It's going to be a great day. Great day. Alright, so, debuting in the Silver Age of Comics, the character first appeared in Journey into Mystery number 83 in August of 1962. This is the same year that Spider Man came out. 1960 year. 1962, big year, big year. My mom was born that year. Great time. Now, it was created by Stan Lee and Larry Lieber and Jack Kirby. In 2002, uh, Lee described Thor's creation early in the Marvel pantheon, following the creation of Hulk. And he said, How do you make someone stronger than the strongest person? It finally came to me. I don't make him human. I make him a god. I decided readers were already pretty familiar with the Greek and Roman gods, and it might be fun to delve into the old Norse legends. So, kind of neat. Neat different little spin there. Stan and, uh, uh, sorry. Lee and Kirby included Thor in Avengers number 1 in September of 1963 as a founding member of the superhero team. The character has since appeared in every subsequent volume of the series. Fun fact, Captain America actually is not a founding member of the Avengers. He appeared in, in issue number four in 1964, Trapped in Ice. He was retroactively created or retroactively made a um, member, a founding member of the Avengers after the Hulk left because different members of the Avengers team were concerned about his powers. So, fun fact, the more you know, the more you grow. During the 1970s, the writers integrated many elements of traditional North Miss Norse Mythology. Say that five times fast. Norse mythology, Norse mythology, not the day, the day. They integrated many elements of traditional Norse mythology into the title, with specific stories translated into comic form. In October of 2014, the fourth volume of Thor by Jason Aaron and artist Russell, Russell Duderman debuted that featured a female character later revealed to be Jane Foster. Sorry for the spoiler if you didn't already know. In the role as Thor. After the classic comic hero is no longer able to wield his famous hammer. Aaron stated that this is not she Thor. It's not Lady Thor. It's not Thorita. This is Thor. This is the Thor of the Marvel Universe. But unlike any Thor we've ever seen before. In July of, 9th of 2016... Marvel announced a new ongoing series titled The Unworthy Thor by Aaron and Copil. The series followed the original Thor, who now refers to himself as Odinson, as he tries to find new purpose after relinquishing his name and his title to Foster. Aaron stated that the series finds Odinson in a dark place, explaining he failed for a reason we still don't quite understand, and he dropped the hammer and hasn't been able to pick it up since. Intrigue. Fun. Uh, if you're wondering about my shirt today, um, me and the rest of my co-workers are going to be running at the, or I'm going to be running. I think the rest of them are walking. <laughs> We're going to be participating in the Water Cooler 5K that's happening later today at Wolf Pen Creek. It's uh, being put on by the Chamber of Commerce. So I think it's going to be a great event. It's going to be a lot of fun. I uh, hope to see a lot of people out there. Spider Cat will be there. Um, also make sure you check it out on my website, over the edge, brazosbelly.org slash, slash, spidercat, to, uh, see any updates for Spidercat, any upcoming events, and all that kinds of stuff. Also make sure you like and subscribe, follow us, we're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube, at SpiderCatBCS. See you guys on Friday!